Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Escape the Pacific. So we are still back on our starter island from uh, last episode. I've uh, slept through a couple of nights to uh, let these papayas grow. We're now, it's just sunrise on the 14th day. And... It looks like these papayas are now ready, so we're going to grab these. Uh, we'll have a look at our hunger and our thirst aren't too bad, but we could do with some vitamin C. I'll eat one of these fresh, because that's 10 vitamin C while it's fresh. We don't really need the hunger. But uh, they also give you a bit of thirst when they're fresh as well, and our water's going bad, so we'll have one didn't change our fruit but if we eat too much more uh, I guess we'll eat one more gets rid of all of our thirst our vitamin C is almost up uh, there was a couple more trees here grab those ones I'm gonna pop the rest of these on the rack pretty sure there's a third tree there it is And I'll pop the rest of these on the rack and dry them out. You don't get a thirst fulfillment on them when they dry out. And you will get less vitamin C from them, but you still get a fair whack. And they they will last longer when they're dried out. So we'll pop all these on here. Put a couple on that one. And not much else to do here. Let's all grab some salt. And um, got our bottle here. Check the traps. A few fish in here. Okay, so I'll pop these on the rack as well, and I don't think I'm going to worry about cooking more soup, I'm just going to stick to dried food like I normally do. Just pop these on. So if I grab this empty tankard here go and have a look so now if we look at that i mean that if you look in the cup i thought it may have been something to do with the uh the grass walls but that's definitely got a green tinge to it it doesn't give a value of whether it's bad or not i suppose there is a green line like under the icon at the bottom left uh, but it's hard to tell really accurately about that um, I'll pop that back in there now if I grab some out of this one that's green fish soup I grab some out of this one that's not green see that now and that actually gives a hunger and thirst um, we pop that back in there and we grab this one. It doesn't show anything. So, that soup's definitely gone bad. So, we're going to, uh, going to detach this. I'm going to pick it up. And we're going to empty it. Because that's no use to us. Tie that back on. And it's still showing salt plus. But as soon as we put something else in there. That's just a glitch on the name. That'll go away. We'll do the same with this one. 
We'll empty that. And we'll shove that back under. And we'll grab our rope. Tie that back on. Now, if I have a look in here, I've got some that are bottled up. So the fish and turtle egg there. A hunger of 50, thirst of 10. Fish soup, hunger of 70, thirst of 10. So, I'm pretty sure they do stay good in the bottles. But uh, apart from my bottle that I use for various things, uh, that's all my bottles are filled up. So, just going to grab this and pop some salt in it, or some salt water rather. Pop this back upstairs. I'm not lighting these fires, just going to let it evaporate. Uh, I guess we'll open these up. Close them up again if it starts raining. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see, all of this water's gone down to 19. We will grab some of it. It's all as bad as each other. Uh, this has got salt in it. I need to empty that. Grab some of this water. Just quickly. Uh... Oh, now that carrot's ready. Potato's still got a while to go. This one's at 83%, but that's definitely got a flower on it. So when that's ready, we'll be able to get more seeds the carrots out of that so let's pop this away we'll remove the stem and pick up the carrot do the same with this one and be careful not to clean up before you pick up the carrot pop that away Move the stem off of this one. Pick up that carrot. Pop that away. We'll clean these up now. Uh, I've got to pop these carrots in here. And let's see. Pop this water back in. Top up the soil on these. Pop that soil back in there. We do have some some carrot seeds still here. So We'll just plant these. Okay. So we're done here. I think now we're going to head back to... Back to huge trees. which is over there. So we'll go back there, do some last minute, some last minute cleaning up over there. And then we'll, uh, after that we'll, we'll start heading off to try and find the new cluster. But, uh, just got a couple of things to finish off back at our home base before we do that. So I need to veer around a bit. I'm still a bit shallow here by the looks of it. Turn that 
turn it around. Let's see if that's enough to get us out of here. Okay, so I'll pause the video and I'll get back to you when we get back to our base. So I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, so coming up on our home base island. Just going to pull in here. Start bringing the sails down. And we'll jump off and drag it up on the shore. Alrighty. So. Let's see here. Um, we're going to dismantle these. Because it all goes towards our dismantling skill. So, if we do find any more crates, the higher our dismantling skill, the more the more planks we're going to get out of those crates, and the more stuff we're going to get back from dismantling other things. Now, let's have a look at this. So, we have a repair skill as well. So I'm not sure if these are going to count. Um, seven of ten. That one didn't count, so... We're going to dismantle this as well. So sometimes the repairs, they don't always seem to count towards our skill level. But we're going to dismantle all of this. These pillars. Alrighty. Now... I'll leave those just for the minute in case it does rain again. Um, we'll take these though. You dismantle these. Uh, you don't need to take the pots out to dismantle them. Um, but you will lose the pots. I guess I'm not really too fussed about. Don't really need the, the coconut pots. So we're not staying here another night. So we may as well get all the dismantling skill out of these as we can. Yeah, 62%, 62%. We're not going to see them growing before we go. Uh, we will top this up. It might produce a bit more stuff while we're still finishing up over here. Not going to take all these goblets or all of these. Uh, what I will do... We'll have a run around and see some coconuts over there. We'll run around the perimeter one last time. Let's pick up any other supplies that we find. See if there's any crates that have washed up. Let's go pop these in. And that's full. We might break a few of these open and get some fresh water. Top up our barrels. 
does look like she's got some bananas that are ready. There's quite a lot of banana trees on here, so we'll grab some of those before we leave. And there might be some papayas ready as well here. Just want to have a look around the edge though. Just around the shoreline and see if there's any more any more crates to pick up. Not seeing any. Yeah, this is where we uh where our friend was. And he said for his note, which got back at the raft said that the next cluster is east which is off in that direction so that's where we're going to be heading next not going to worry about the little turtle might or might not be some salt here probably not going to be any fish in these traps because we haven't been here Not seeing any crates on the shore. Alright, we'll take a quick run through here. Yeah, there was some fire trees. Over here, that's just a young one. Alright, well I will grab some of these bananas. And we'll store these. More bananas over there and over there. Quite a few around. Yeah, those papayas are not quite ready. Grab another batch of bananas. I don't think it will take much more. Because uh, that's going to be plenty and they'll, they'll go bad before we end up eating them. Got a decent supply of papayas. Let's have a quick look around though. See if there's any more coconuts. There's heaps of bananas. Now oh, maybe we'll take a couple more. Better to have more than less. We can always chuck them away if they go bad. That's as many as I can carry. Alright, we'll go pop these away. Uh, here's some papaya here. So... Okay. So straight up, there's a few papayas. So I'll pop these in our crate. Pop them in there. And that's as many as we can fit in there. Pop the rest in there. We we'll, won't worry about grabbing any more bananas, but we will grab these papayas. If I can find them again. Here they are. There's only a couple there. Might have lost some overnight. There's more here. Alright, 
that's probably going to be enough for pies for us. So I'll pop these on the racks, that one's full. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take our palm leaves with us. So we'll build a leaves holder. Uh, that way, when we do leave this cluster, we'll be able to, uh, We'll be able to set up our water collection pretty much straight away without having to chop down palm trees, banana trees. Is it three? One, two, three. Uh, now I also had a comment from the last episode when uh, I had some sticks go missing. And so one of my viewers, Mark, Mark, Kitos, I think. Hope I'm not butchering the name there, mate. But uh, but Mark said that uh, a lot of people don't realise that these bags actually scroll down, and it's quite possible that the missing sticks had actually gone like in the bottom. So if I scroll that down, and if we scroll it up, you can't actually tell that it's there. And then I'm when I'm adding sticks like to a fire or dropping them on the ground they automatically go in your hand and it's possible that I emptied them out that way so that could have happened um maybe but uh we'll whack this together we will go grab ourselves a rope I think I've got one left yep Pop that in our bag for a minute. And I think we'll pop this one down the side here. Okay. Try and get it straightened up a bit. good to me all right so we've got banana palms here banana palm leaves here so I'll pop them in and you can mix and match in the leaves holder so we'll go and grab all of these and we can make do collectors out of the banana leaves as well. So we'll just take what we can, I guess. Then that way we can set up our water collection like as soon as we make landfall on the other side of our journey. Because with our water already going bad, and I've got some bottled water, but. Uh, I don't know how much of that's going to last during our journey. So I'll pop these in. Okay.
Maybe we'll grab a couple more banana banana leaves and shove them on there. And that should be plenty enough, I think, to uh, help us get set up so we don't have to do too much. Fit more in there. I'm not sure how many we can fit in there, but uh, not going to worry about doing any more. Uh, what I will do is go and grab out our, our stone axe here. Let's grab an empty barrel. Yeah, it says small barrel salt plus that's just a leftover glitch from when we had soup in it gonna pop that over here chop these just going to pick up the barrel and we're just going to fill the barrel straight out of those pop that down again so we've got eight units there and chop this one pull out our stone axe and uh, give each of these husks a hit. Pull out our knife. So I'll make a couple more ropes. Don't need too many more ropes, but uh, these fibers can also be used for making our fire starter or our fire saw. And uh, I do want to add couple more things to the raft so I will need one or two more small ropes so I'm just going to chop the rest of these up and I'll be back to you in a sec when I'm done with that okay so chop those up I've made a couple of small ropes just going to make uh, one more large one pop that in our bag Grab this barrel, grab that water. Yeah, just gonna drop this for a moment. Thirteen water in there. Let's just see if there was any palm trees that are low enough to grab coconuts out of. I suppose we could always chop down coconut tree. We're not coming back here. But, uh, see if we can find anything laying around or anything that's easy to access. Plenty of bananas. There's more papaya and they're ready so we'll take those.
Alrighty, that might do us. So I'll take these back, chop these back up and uh, add that water to our barrel. And I'll come back to you in a sec when I'm finished doing that. Alrighty, so we've got 19 units of clean water there. Just going to drop my tools. Pick up this rock here and give them a sharpen. Drop the rock. Pick these up. Pop that back in. Pop that in. Grab our barrel. Straighten that up. Pop it in there. Grab one of these ropes. Pop it back on. The rest of these ropes can go in here for now. go there we'll take our hammer back okay pop these on the rack and coconut fibers some in our kindling box that's full that's fine we'll put some in here alrighty uh, so we're almost done here that's got some in it okay so I think what we'll do we'll take these turtle shells with us as well may as well get this dismantling experience all right so these things are pretty heavy uh, I could probably fit a lot more in one of the palm crates that we make but uh, I've got these empty crates over here. I'm just going to pop them in here. Can only fit six in each one. So you have quite a volume to them. That's all we can pick up. I think we can fit another one in there. So it's a weight of three and a volume of five, so... Yeah. They do take up quite a bit of storage. But, uh... I'm sure they'll come in handy. We can s set up our rain. And that... At our new, at our new island. All right, so we've got twelve. Pretty sure that that's everything. What have we got here? Do have more coconuts here. All right. Well, I may as well grab the water out of these two. All righty. So I'll chop these ones up. I have to go get my axe back out again. But, uh, be back to you in just a moment. Alrighty, so I'm just putting the water from those last few coconuts in there. Got some more fibers to put away in here. And let's grab our bottle. Let's go over here, see how these are going, 
Yeah, we, we won't see them grown. That's all right. We'll get some... Uh, we'll get some in the next cluster, I think. Don't really... Got plenty of coconut husks now. We don't really need the fibres. So we're going to dismantle these. Dismantle the shovel as well. And... Yep. Alrighty. So we'll put this soil in the barrel. Pop that away. And so now if we look at our note. Uh, is it this one? If I'd known that even my last hope would disappear here, I would not have left the island cluster located very near in east direction. Now, depending on your map, it may say something else. Um, every seed is different. Although if you're playing along on the same seed as what I am, then it'll be east. But you will get different different setups and sometimes it'll be in a different direction than what mine is so east I think was yep over that way and let me see I want to stop off at the tall grass island which is the furthest east anyway and just to tad north a tad northeast from where we are but if we stop off there on the way and then we can head east from there so pick up our raft spin around and I've just spun it around the wrong way that's fine grab the corner scroll it out using the, the mouse wheel can left click to straighten it pop it out not too deep it's just deep enough And try and get through between the ship here. So hard to the port side. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to quite clear it. Need to uh, bring down our sails a tad. Let's just straighten up a bit. Alright, I, th I think we might be okay. Maybe not. Oh, we're just going to clip it. Ah, you bastard. Alrighty, pop her in reverse. Try again. Probably easier to get out and straighten it up on foot. But, uh, let's see if we can squeeze through. Alrighty, we're clear. So let's just check. Flat rocks, tall grass, okay, so we're in the right direction, we'll uh, take a seat here, and 
I will see you when we're a little bit closer. Okay, so that's our tall grass island over there, but we're just passing uh, the other grass island. And we're just going to have a quick look. If we go to escape as we're passing through. We can have a look. Just going to hold down our left mouse button and just look around. See if there's any crates. But I don't see any. So. That's one way to, to uh, have a quick check. If there's anything washed up there. But uh, nothing there this time. So we'll keep going. And I'll see you when we... Uh, when we get there again okay so we're just pulling up on the side of the island because we're going to be heading further east so don't want to have to drag it too far around the other side of the island when we head off going to be adding a, another small addition to the raft so I'm just going to drag it up this way onto this flat piece and I think uh, east is over there so alrighty uh, let's have a look don't think Oh, it does look like there's a crate there. Just there. I'll we'll have a quick run around here. What have we got here? We've got some more coconuts here. So I'll grab those. Add those to our water collection. Have another bit of a run around here, see what else is around. Got more big turtles as well. Alright. So I'll take this over. Alrighty. So we'll plonk this down. So I've got some tall grass here. Let's see how many planks we get out of this. Okay. So I've got planks in here. Uh, not in that one. In this one. 23 uh let's um let's stash these somewhere let's just dump these here cut those up later just grab one of these trunks here it doesn't look like they're gonna roll anywhere but just in case pop that there So, uh, where's the rest of them planks? Should be able to pick them up now. Okay, so 41. Uh, let me see. going to build uh, that takes 18 we should be able to do two of those so what I'm going to do is I'll add some plank roofs up the top there and I also want to put in a grass another grass doorway and door in here and close off that area 
try and keep our water a bit fresher. Um, but uh, that's going to do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, this is going to be the last episode in this cluster. So next episode, we'll pop those roofs on. We'll pop that door in. And then we'll be heading heading off to the next cluster. And I don't know how much of that journey I'm going to record. A lot of it might be a bit boring. Um, it's basically, it's essentially going to be sailing for about uh, four or five days. And up to this point, we're like 30 odd episodes in and we're only up to the 14th day. So in uh, perspective... That's quite a lot of sailing with nothing to see but ocean. But we might get some bad weather. There might be a few points of interest to show you, show you some of the navigation and um, all that sort of stuff. But uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode.